Welcome back to The Race. I'm Chris Stewart. And election security is a huge concern as we do get closer to the 2018 midterms. And millions of dollars has already been spent to make sure your vote is secure. But where exactly does that money go? Corey Rangel taking a look at what's being done to protect your vote from hackers. Russian hackers are at it again, already targeting this year's midterm elections. One, to try to infiltrate our election infrastructure and second to try to infiltrate our minds with misinformation. In 2016, Russian hackers targeted voting systems in at least 21 states, according to Homeland Security officials. While no votes were changed, states are now trying to prepare for what could happen this year. States are going to need the federal government to step up because states can't defend against a nation state as big as Russia. To help out states, this year, Congress approved $380 million in election security funding that will go towards things like new voting machines that are more secure, updating computer software to protect voter information, and hiring and training staff on cyber threats. While state and local governments are working to protect our elections, voters can also do something to help out. Register to vote, check your registration, and then go vote earlier by mail if possible. If there has been some kind of incident, if the Russians have infiltrated a voter list, for instance, we will discover that early thanks to people voting. And when we discover it early, we can fix it early and make sure it has no impact on the election. For The Race, I'm Corey Rangel. Last election cycle, the idea of fake news really took off. But this time around, social media outlets are being a little more proactive. Over the past week, Apple, Facebook, Spotify, and YouTube booted InfoWars creator Alex Jones, one of the most infamous conspiracy theorists around. Now, this is the guy who says the Sandy Hook massacre was made up. But as our partners at PolitiFact found out, the social media giants say Jones was removed not because of fake news, but for violating their terms of service. For example, Facebook says glorified violence and dehumanizing language are the culprits here, but they still take fighting fake news seriously. State-owned television in China getting in the game by posting this cartoon about a cute little soybean with a big dilemma on its hands. I've been in the news lately because I'm caught in the middle of a trade war involving the two powerful countries of China and the United States. Yeah, even the Avengers make an appearance as Senate and congressional candidates running for re-election using the trade war to win votes. But just know, if you see this video, this is Chinese propaganda, not the latest Marvel movie. We're just getting started here. Much more still to come ahead on The Race.